Um, wow, I, I am absolutely blown away by everybody here. You either know me, my mother, or both. And I just, I cannot thank you enough. Come close to you. Um, we cannot thank you enough for the love and support of an amazing, amazing woman who clearly loved red, which is why we're in red today, who loved, who came here literally would walk over from her building every day at happy hour, would come and sit at this bar, either have the meatballs and the chocolate cake and a glass of Prosecco. And so as I thought about honoring her, she hated funerals and memorial services. She said they were too morbid. So to me, this was the perfect space and the perfect way to bring in everybody she knew and she loved and who cared about her and wanted to celebrate her. And my mother was such an amazing connector. She brought people together and everybody has such great stories, which I have just treasured hearing. Most of them are hilarious. Most of them cannot be repeated, which is why I loved her so much because she was authentically Audrey. And I want to bring in Holly yeah. because Holly, I met Holly through my mother and Holly's going to tell that story, but we became friends overnight and then we elevated to sisters yeah. right thereafter. And, and I, the whole process of losing my mother, Holly was by my side along with Paul every step of the way. And I, I'm not going to lose it. I, I just, I couldn't ask for greater support. I couldn't ask for greater love, companionship. Just, just girl, you gutted it. And you did everything that a sister could ever need. And I, I thank you so much. So much. No. So I met Audrey the night that I was trying to decide if I want to move into the Ivy, and they said, come for a happy hour. So I did, and I walked in, and I was with another friend, kind of looking around, surveying the room, and I found this woman in lime green pants and decided that she was the person that I must speak to if I was going to speak to anybody. Um, so we got to know each other really Quickly, there's a picture here from the night I met her, which is um, has this lemon in front of her that's actually a dessert. I asked her if she'd go to dinner, and she said yes, and we got there, and she said, I only eat dessert. <laughs> <laughs> and Prosecco. And Prosecco. And Prosecco. Um, so uh, it, it's actually a much longer story. I did tell her that I tried to reach out to her daughter, Monique, and she corrected me and said, by the way, her name is Dominique. <laughs> and I'm like, actually, I knew that, but my typo corrected it, made her Monique. Anyway, so um, I got to know her first, and then she introduced uh, me to Dee. And really what I want to say is I think that we both felt that she knew that mm -hmm. you were going to need, a, you know, a bigger family, and I needed a bigger family. She called me almost every day before I moved in there and mm -hmm. really encouraged me, and she used to, you know, say, hey, kiddo, I need you to smile now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so she would always correct me and I learned to correct her too. So it was just fun, but, um, cheers to a person that connected me to you because it's been such an amazing blessing. I know. I agree. Yeah. Cheers, yeah. To Audrey. cheers to Audrey. Cheers to Audrey. An amazing, yeah. amazing yeah. woman so and mom. And me. Yeah. Cheers everybody. Thank you. Audrey was always so much fun and so fabulous. Every time I saw her, she was full of energy. I think she had more energy than me. And she was, you know, more than double my age, but somehow she would outlast all of us. And she was just always such a bright light everywhere she went and so much fun to be around. And I know you actually probably have a lot of really funny Audrey stories. I think the thing I loved most about Audrey is that she was brutally honest. True. Yes. I mean, there was like no filter. Yeah. She was just <laughs> honest. Like if you asked her a question, you needed to be prepared that she was going to tell you the yes. truth whether you liked it or not, which yeah. I appreciated about her. But she just always was so thoughtful and so poignant in the things that she had to say. Yes. She had so much wisdom. And when you know Dominique, you know where she gets it. Yes, right? I just remember like one of the first times I ever met her, just sitting down and talking to her and going, I get it now. I know where Dominique yes. gets it all. I mean, she is just so much like her mother. And yes. Audrey was just such a special bright light in this world. So. And I think, too, sometimes she would be so fun and um, extroverted that you would sometimes think that she wasn't maybe hearing everything you were saying, but she was intently listening. And she was always so um, dialed in with whoever she was talking to. So even though she was bouncing around the room and always 
talking with everyone and knowing everyone, um, she made you feel like you were the only person that was important in that moment when she was speaking with you, and I really appreciate that about her. Well, Dominique said earlier, she was such a great connector, such a great communicator, and she really was, and Dominique carries that and continues that, and I think Styles really does yeah. too. I mean, he's such a great conversationalist as well, and so we just need to get to watch that lineage kind of continue that. Yeah. So, I met Audrey uh, back in the late or mid 90s with Dominique, of course. I've known Dominique since uh, junior high. And um, I used to work in the fitness industry, supplement industry, um, as a spokesmodel, physique model, etc. And um, I was associated with this company called Experimental and Applied Sciences. And uh, the owner of that company wrote a book. I think it was called Body for Life. And apparently, Audrey read this book and did the program and got great results. And she knew that I was affiliated with this company because I was doing some ads for them, etc. And she wanted to meet me. So Dominique hit me up and uh, we met at Starbucks. And uh, that's how I met her mom. And it was an honor. And um, I always look forward to running into her in Houston from time to time. And I tell you, when Dominique came to our restaurant for a book signing, it was fantastic. There were two or three hundred beautiful people coming in. But then I met her mother. When the deal was over, we all sat together, me, my wife, and yourself, and I fell in love with her. Audrey, Audrey would say whatever she wanted to say. And I told, right then I told Dominique, I said, you know what? I will be bigger than you on YouTube. I will produce your mother, Audrey, and it'll be Audrey Unfiltered. And that's my story about Audrey. Salud. Cheers. Cheers to Miss Audrey. Uh, I was dating Dominique at the time, and I said, would it be okay if I take your mother to lunch? She said, sure. And I thought it would be a great way to get to know her mom. And we decided that I would take her to lunch every Tuesday. And so it was like Tuesdays with Audrey and we would go to her favorite restaurants and she would tell me her life story. And we talked and discussed all about her childhood, all about her marriages, all about dating. You know, she gave me so much advice. She was so wise in so many ways. And she was very funny. And we had a beautiful, fun time. I would wear a suit and tie. She would always dress impeccably. I mean, she always looked forward to it. I looked forward to it. And I would cherish those moments. And I told her, I said, Audrey, if there's ever a time when you forget some aspect of your life, just ask me and I'll remind you because I knew all of it. And I was very, very close to her. And her passing was very, very difficult for me. And uh, she was like a mother to me. And she was really, really special. And she'll be, you know, she'll be missed for sure. So sharing a memory about Audrey is just a woman with limitless boundaries. Um, just basically, um, I've known Dominique since high school. We've been friends since high school. So we're talking about teenagers hanging out in the house, her mom always being there, and then always just... Um, Every time I was with Audrey, just feeling her love and just um, her love of life and the fact that she would always tell you how she felt. And um, I loved her so much and I have two daughters myself and I just hope that I could have that type of relationship with my daughters as I grow older. Um, watching Dominique's relationship with her mom and so uh, we're gonna miss her and I know Dominique's gonna miss her but I do know that Dominique um, Domo has her mother in her heart she knows exactly what her what her mom's gonna say she knows the advice she knows she's just gonna be so close to her heart that I hope that she um, can call on her for strength when she's really missing her this is a picture of Audrey how she looked when I met her 
I was 16 when I met Audrey. This is a birthday party when Dominique and my sister turned 17. And from the moment I met her, she just made such an impression on me. It's such a confident, capable woman with such stark quality. And someone that I wanted to be like and emulate. Such a strong woman and so intelligent. And as the years went on, I got to know her better and better. And I just really enjoyed her sense of humor and her laugh. And one time, when Dominique was actually living over here at West Creek Apartments, I was living there too. And my sister and my mom happened to visit her and they're like, hey, come over, um, we're over here with Dominique and Audrey. So I got there and I love to do this imitation of like the New York accent. And so I was doing that and Audrey could not stop laughing. She was laughing so hard that she was kind of climbing the couch, kind of like, um, that Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live character that we put the joyologist. That's what Daughtry was, a joyologist. She was kind of climbing the couch and laughing so hard and we were just having the best time. And more recently, she was at my wedding two years ago and she was the life of my wedding. She was in a beautiful red dress that I'll never forget, just like red dresses tonight, commemorating her. And I turned and I see her just dancing with all my friends from college, having the time of her life. And they still talk to me about her and I told them about her and I really enjoyed dancing with her. She just had such a zest for life, and she loved to dance, and she loved life, and I loved her. I'm gonna miss you, Audrey, but thank you for being such a big influence in my life. I'm gonna smile, because I love you. Thank you. Audrey Toll was my best, dearest friend. I will love her forever. She was the most witty, glamorous, beautiful woman I had met a long time. She loved to laugh, she was just, I know, unbelievably smart. I mean, she wasn't just funny, she was very smart and intelligent. And everything about her, if you met her, you knew instantly this is a woman of substance. So, Audrey, my darling, I will always love you and miss you forever. So, one of my favorite memories about Audrey is that she loved my husband, who's from Italy. And so, when Dominique and I and she would get together, she would tell everybody that this was her Italian boyfriend. And, was okay with. <laughs> and so I just sat in the back, back and she said, you, you have them all the time. I have them right now. So Rudy and she would get together and talk about Europe and just have the best time. Love, Audrey and Miss her. I think today we would say that we are celebrating Audrey, the life well lived beyond words she was such an inspiration and such a firecracker until truly her last moments and so today is the happiest day and to be here for dominique dominique is just um a reflection of her mom and her, she will keep her mom's light shining and um, it's just very special for all of us to be here so Cheers to Audrey, Dominique, and may the legacy live on. Cheers, y'all. <laughs> we're rolling. No, we're oh, we're rolling, rolling. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, so this is for Dee, I guess, and she's going to see it later. So hmm, what would I want to say that she might not have already heard? My life is way more rich by having Audrey in it for as long as I did, and we will have Audrey with us together forever. And we will relish the days that she's not with us because we will always have her with us. I know she will show up in some form and we will both crack up. Um, so I'm so blessed to share life with you and I can't wait to do more together. And I feel like tonight was a true blessing to the memory of Audrey. The only thing we didn't say is that she would have crashed the party. <laughs> okay, my favorite Audrey memory has to be when we went to the Rapport for Dominique's book signing. And we went and it was such a great day and everyone was there and it was, it was truly such a good day. And Audrey was there and I feel like every time we went somewhere for an event for Dominique, uh, from, it was like a bonus that her mom was there. I was like, wait, get to meet Audrey too. It was so exciting. And I will never forget, she came up to me in the middle of it after a couple of glasses of Prosecco. And she said, you know, oh, I love your outfit. I was like, thank you. Such a compliment coming from her. I was like, thank you. And she's like, and your makeup? So beautiful. It's great. I'm like, wow, loving this. Thank you. She's like, but I hate your hair. 
and she just straight up told me she hated my hair. Um, I had little pieces down in front of my face. She told me I needed to get rid of those pieces. She said that I work for the woman who has the best hair, Dominique, who she's not wrong. Um, so today my hair is pulled back in honor of Audrey and um, may never go back in honor of her. So I loved her so much. She was so vibrant, such an amazing person, and she will be greatly, greatly missed, but greatly, greatly remembered. Nobody's leaving here without a slice of cake, period. You've got to promise me that, okay? So yeah. enjoy and let's celebrate. Let's celebrate an amazing life because that's what it was, an amazing life lived. Yay! Cheers. 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 Cheers.